back to Burner Nates, everyone. It is just before the beginning of summer, and we are back in the north woods of northern Wisconsin. So we are fishing some new water tonight, and um, we've got a few hours to explore it. And we're gonna see if we can key in on some good structure here as far as weeds and rocks. It's gonna be our main focus, and we've got some flats here that we're gonna explore, see if uh, they uh, have some weeds on them, find out what the weed edges are, and kind of go from there. So we've got flats that drop off into main lake basin off of shorelines here. And then we've got some points, underwater points, underwater humps. We're gonna explore those, see what they have on them for structure, and uh, cast some of these out and hopefully get some action before sunset tonight. So water temps are low 70s right now. We're sitting at about 70, 71. And uh, Jake's currently casting water chopper, Lee Lures water chopper. And I've got a willow bladed bucktail. We'll see if we can get a fish to hit the net. So stick around. exploration continues this morning so last night the extent of our action was the fish that Jake had up and in the eight it uh, didn't fully commit looked like it wanted to eat but uh, no hooks in that one as soon as we found some good rock on this flat that came off and dropped off in the deeper water that fish showed up so we did find some pretty decent structure last night some decent sized rock some boulders and then some good weeds so it looks like the weed edge in this particular body of water at this time of year right now is about six to seven feet and um, we're gonna continue working along some rocks and weeds today. We've been dealing with high pressure so far this weekend, but it looks like a weather change is coming later today and into the week here as things warm up again. So it's been cool and uh, low wind as far as this weekend so far, but today is supposed to pick up a little bit as far as out of the south. So we'll get to casting and working some more good structure here.
place. Right on the rock bar. Sure. It's it off. It's the way to hit it. It's like just dead weight. Must have just kind of swam at me a little bit. Yeah. Like caught up to it. There we go. First muskie of the trip here. After exploring some new water, smoked it on the rock bar. We had the uh, Nano Rage from uh, Rocky Point Tackle, so we'll get her back in and tell you guys some more. Back she goes. Yeah, so got the uh, Nano Rage from Rocky Point Tackle, nice little bladed bucktail, and uh, we were actually running the bigger one of this last year, now we got some of the smaller ones, and uh, we figured it'd be good for northern Wisconsin and all around. I mean, we like the Willow Blade, it's been around for years, but muskies like it too. So yeah, we got, I got it paired up with Cast Tackle Salt Stick, the original, it's uh, my shock and awe. So it's a nine footer, telescopic. I like running shock and off for bigger blade stuff, which there's a little bit more drag or a little bit more pull with these willow blades. And uh, shock and all handles the figure eights nicely. So as far as getting into the turns and currently running the high speed beast, just cause I can keep it up higher, a little bit higher. Cause we're fishing a shallow rock bar right here and um, kind of some mid lake structure. So it comes up to probably even two feet in some spots. But we're fishing working around the whole perimeter of it basically and uh, found weeds in one spot some big rocks in another and we came to the basically the main lake side of it now and it's the wind blowing side and got a muskie so first one of the trip exploring new water we're gonna keep casting here and uh, see if we can get some more water and our exploratory mission is complete for the weekend. A little bit shorter time on the water this weekend than we usually put in but nonetheless still managed to put one fish in the net and all together between last night and then today we raised four other ones. Yeah. And that one that you had today was finally a good fish which we haven't seen much for big fish this year yet. Yeah. It's been a lot of that you know 30 to 40 inch range of fish nonetheless still fun to catch but um hopefully the bait girls start hitting the baits here soon but um as far as you know exploring new water this was a, a i would say we didn't put as much time in as we usually do but it was more of a, it was a busier weekend for us and um, we still got a chance to find out whether or not this body of water is worth our time and it's well worth our time but, i mean based on the structure that we found and we have a lot of it left unturned yet you know so um, we're looking forward to coming back but it was uh, it was a nice outing at least to get our feet wet on this body of water big body of water here and at least explore it and I you know I think this time compared to how we usually fish 
like you made the note, we're fishing a little bit faster than we usually did. Yeah, I'm trying to cover a little bit more water than typically. Usually I like to go a little bit slower, work spots over a little more thorough, but I just wanted to cover more water to find out more of these spots instead of just blank water. Yeah. And uh, a lot, of, I would say this weekend, as you put it, we were searching and fishing, which might not be as efficient as, you know, like what we would normally do, which would be like go out, explore the lake more, and then start fishing, find the best spots. But through it, we still were able to put, you know, fish in the boat and get some action. Yeah. So, and now we've basically opened a whole new, whole new body of water for us for the future here to uh, keep exploring and keep fishing. So, nonetheless, put a little time in with a, with a map ahead of time. You know, find the shelves coming off the shoreline, find the flats that drop off that look like they might hold weeds. So you got a shallower flat or shallower shelf coming off the shoreline that looks like it'll probably hold weeds. At least then go explore it like that's what we did today. Yeah. Sure enough, had good cabbage on it. And, um, you know, we also looked at mid-lake humps and uh, other rock shelves out there. And uh, that's where that mine came from was that rock bar or mid lake rock home. So um, yeah, it's it's kind of you know putting in a little bit of time ahead of time pays dividends in the end as far as uh, getting you in the right spots to start. One last note for the bait that my fish was caught on. We're gonna get some of those nano rages on our website if you guys are interested in checking them out or uh, purchasing some. So they've been working good for us. Seem like uh, a high quality bait that you know like. It's always nice when a bucktail starts up every time and this one's been working well for us so if you guys are interested in those we'll have some of those on our website plus some we're gonna keep trying to add some more baits for you guys to uh, check out and uh, hopefully add to your arsenal if you so choose so with that guys we're gonna conclude this episode another weekend in the books for us here at burner nates so uh, time to uh, get back to another work week after some fishing so Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one.